Forex strategies can be found everywhere. They can be found on YouTube, Google, blogs, websites, everything. And there are millions and millions of strategies out there for you to choose from. But being able to adapt and change a strategy to fit your strengths, hide your weaknesses and form with your trading psychology is going to be key if you're ever going to be wanting to be trading for a long period of time. In this video, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you and how I go about adapting strategies to fit me and to fit my um, trading style that I've developed over the years. So if you don't know anything about me, my name is Jacob. I've been trading for around five years now. It was a very, very bumpy road. Um, and I have only recently in the last couple of years been profitable. And this channel has developed over the years as well. And uh, now it is a personal channel where hopefully I'm going to be helping you to become a profitable trader. I'm not saying I'm the best trader. I'm not saying that my way is the only way to trade. I trade multiple ways. You've seen it on the channel. You've seen it in my live streams, hopefully. I'm hoping to share my experience um, to help you guys develop. Before we kind of get into the main video today, I do want to be giving you a little bit of an update in regards to trying to help you uh, become a better better trader i'm going to be starting a one-to-one -one call uh, which i will be recording for you guys um, with the s p 500 uh, private group so i'm hoping that you know they they can give me some some problems that they're having with their trading i can solve it put it on youtube and hopefully you guys can benefit from that as well um, because i'm sure that if one trader is having a problem another trader is going to be having it as well. Um, so if you want to be joining that group and getting onto a call with me, uh, join the S&P 500 group below by hitting that blue join button and I will see you uh, in the Discord group and hopefully we can get on that call. But let's get back into the video. So the first kind of advantage that you need before even thinking about adapting a strategy is the knowledge of multiple strategies. This doesn't really work if you've been trading for a year, I'd probably say. You need to be trading for more than a year to really be able to adapt a strategy properly to yourself. So you need multiple strategies in your back pocket that you can pull out and you can adapt to the current strategy and understand relatively quickly whether it's going to work or not. So I'll give you a little bit of a story around this. So previously, I would just kind of go onto YouTube and pick a strategy that I thought would work and trade it just you know straight out of the box essentially and it would work for a little while and then it would just wouldn't right and I didn't really know why and eventually over the years I managed to figure out that the reason those strategies weren't working was not because they're a bad strategy it was because they didn't fit with my personality and my trading psychology so over the years as your knowledge builds up you're going to know if this strategy is going to work for you and if you could be you know trading that for many many years to come over those years i found that all the good strategies have three core elements those elements are time indicators and price action now this is my personal core elements this could be different for you right yours could just have one it could just be indicators and that's what you do but for me as i've been trading longer and longer and testing hundreds of strategies for me i know these three core elements if i put them together i will have a decently good strategy that will be profitable now is it going to be perfectly optimized probably not but it's going to be good enough to make money in the markets so what do i mean by time what time am i actually going to be getting to my charts what time am I going to be leaving my charts? Uh, how long on average do I open and keep open trades? That is essentially what I mean by time. Now, normally for me, it will just be what is my window of time that I will be trading and I won't be trading outside of those times. Indicators, quite simple, quite easy to guess what this means. What indicators am I going to be using? And finally, we have price action again quite easy to guess what price am i going to be looking for what candlestick patterns am i going to be looking for on the charts for an example there was a strategy that i was trading live on the channel 
and I would be looking for a three bar push. So on a on 15 minute time frame, I'd be looking for a three bar push in any direction to a round number in a certain period of time where I could then be taking trades from. Now, that has all the elements, but it's not what you might think is all the elements. So time is obviously quite easy. So I, I was trading a certain period of time um, in the day. I would only trade for like, I think it was an hour, possibly, or two hours. Um, indicator, I would just have an indicator on my chart that would show me round numbers. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, right? Just an indicator that shows me round numbers is enough. And then we've got the price action, which, which is the three bar push. So those three things combined then created a strategy that I followed and got quite good results with, and so did you guys. Now, recently, and by recently, I mean probably in the last three months, I've added another element which has actually gone to the top of my list in importance, and that is fundamental analysis. So combining the fundamental analysis has helped me to get more clarity around my trades. I'm not worrying about direction anymore. I'm not worried about, you know, is this trade going to be good in four or five months? Um, I know with relative kind of accuracy what the market should be doing in a six to 12 month time frame. Over those kind of years of combining the technicals with the fundamentals, um, I think it's going to give me a very, very strong outlook on the markets. And I'm going to be able to play around with my technicals a little bit more because those fundamentals are giving me that guidance. And essentially, once you've done everything that we've spoken about in this video, so you've traded for more than a year, you've got multiple strategies under your belt, you know your core elements of a strategy that works for you, you know your trading psychology, um, you can start manipulating strategies to work in your favor instead of just trading the strategy that you get from YouTube, for example. And when you can do that, when you can change a strategy to fit your trading personality, it will be unbelievable. It will be so much easier to trade. It will be so much easier on your psychology. It is a, it's a game changer because at the end of the day, you're then changing a strategy to fit with your personality and you're not having to worry about trades you're not having to to check your phone all the time you're not having emotions about your trading it's personalized to you and it fits you so whenever someone else comes along and says oh why are you doing this you should be trading this you should take this entry you should sell this buy this you're not bothered because you've got a strategy that fits your personality fits you exactly and if you're wanting to um, learn about how to find your trading personality, those core elements, all that kind of good stuff. There is a, a series that is on my channel, um, 16 videos to being a profitable trader. I will link it in the top right corner um, of the video. So if you want to have a look at that, you can do. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to be getting on that one-to-one -one call with me or be in the uh, S&P 500 private Discord group, then make sure to hit the join button below and I will see you in the next video.